In isolation, I sting there like a rock. What could I do? Just put it back to the tank and give it a try. This defense mechanism does protect the turtle. However, it also prevents it from exploring the world beyond its confined space. To be honest, in many ways, I was like a turtle. As a student, I was accustomed to the prescribed rhythm, taking classes, doing assignments, and preparing for exams. This routine was really comforting, and it brought me seemingly good grades. People around me thought, oh, she's a good student, because they attach importance to the rank of exam grade. But I knew clearly that I lacked extension beyond the textbook. And what prevented me from changing was my laziness. So in the attempt to break away from this cycle, I decided to take the first step towards something new and challenging. I registered for Xinhong Yao High School Science Award. This step, though small, marked a significant shift in my academic journey because it was my first conscious effort to break free from the um, textbook knowledge and um, of academic conventions. However, difficulties came one after another. For many years, my learning was constrained to what I read in textbook. I had performed ex experiments in class, um, following steps as instructed. But when faced with real life conditions, I often found myself unsure of what to do next. It was clear, I had to go beyond the textbook. So I turned to research papers, learning from experienced scientists, and exploring different kinds of experimental methods. Finally, I designed my own experiments, adapted it to the condition I faced, and began to navigate the world of scientific research. At the same time, I also found that cutting-edge technology seemed like a distant world, something that belonged to others, not me. But then, I read The World I See, written by Fei Fei Li, and also learned about the flower maze created by <laughs> Professor Yunit's team. These works show me the magic of deep learning method and inspire me to push my boundaries. So I started to try to use the deep learning method to represent the morphology of chemicals. A step that seemed daunting at first, but was ultimately transformative. I have finally succeeded in breaking free from the limitations, um, trying to apply technology in a way I never thought possible. Yet, my journey didn't stop here. Although I had to have an experiment, but I faced some new challenges. I had never written a damaged paper or delivered a formal presentation. The structure of a research paper was foreign to me. I even didn't know where to begin. But thinking of the effort I had made, I had no choice but to keep going forward. I read lots of papers, sought advice from parents and teachers, and continuously revised my work. Finally, I was ready to submit my research, which gave me a strong sense of achievement. I even treated the experiment as if it were my baby. And I was in great joy of completing individual research. But then, the biggest challenge came to me, reporting my research to a group of professors. I, I was terrified of making mistakes in front of experts. But on the other hand, I was fortunate enough to advance to the final round of the competition. So, I decided to face this fear head on, because that can now undo all the progress I had made. I practice relentlessly and push myself to present confidently. When the day of the presentation arrived, I stood in front of the professors, feeling a mixture of nervousness and excitement. I felt like I was shaking. But to my surprise, they listened to me attentively and asked me thoughtful and kind questions. After the presentation, I thought about their questions for a long time. And finally, I realized that these questions were not criticism, but opportunities for me to refine my work. Their feedback, far from intimidating, helped me see the gaps in my research and improve it further. Thanks to their guidance, 
I refine my experiments, making it more rigorous and minimal. I got valuable insight in the scientific competition experience because I decided to do a research by myself and I was on the way of facing challenges. New research questions, rigor scientific criteria, uncertainty of making mistakes. Every challenge is a chance for me to break from the nutshell. Thankfully, I stepped out and really got something. I believe that most of us are living, or once lived in different kinds of nutshells. So today, ask yourself, what is your nutshell? Is it fear? Is it self-doubt? Is it a belief that you can't change? Whatever it is, try to break it from now on. These invisible nutshells narrow our understanding of the world and may even hold us back. I want to encourage all of you by my experience, never be afraid of making mistakes. Be open-minded to other suggestions and opinions, and accept failure when we have to. Embrace every change. Consider them as stepping stones instead of obstacles. Learn from them, because every failure holds a lesson that brings us closer to success. So, Let's go beyond the nutshell, explore the world with broader perspectives, courageously chase our dreams, and create infinite possibilities for ourselves. Thank you.